What's your opinion on seating charts? I think they're good. Um, you know, sometimes I like when kids can sit by themselves, but I've noticed for management purposes, it's a lot easier to put some freshmen next to seniors and stuff like that. So. Who do you look up to and why do you look up to them? Uh, my parents, just because, you know, they've always been there for me. They've always, you know, loved me and all that stuff. And there's great role models for me and I strive to be like them someday. Why did you decide to become a teacher? Uh, really, I was selling back massagers in a Sam's Club for like five days, and it was the worst job ever. And I knew I loved coaching baseball, figured I'd give teaching a try, and it turns out I love that too. So. Say your go-to coffee order in Elmo voice. Elmo voice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo, oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, my hot caramel is just from school. <laughs> it wasn't very Elmo-y, but we tried. Um, what piece of advice would you give your past self? Uh, don't overthink things and don't take don't take yourself too seriously, right? What is a teaching experience that stuck with you? Ooh, that's a tough question or a good question. I might ask. A teaching experience that stuck with me? Um, you know, I will just say like kind of during my student teaching and really just figuring out like what it is like to be on the teaching side rather than the student side and really just kind of that aha moment. So my student teaching experience really kind of sticks with me. Would you rather sing or dance in public? Ooh, probably dance in public. Do a dance. Do a dance? What kind of dance? Oh, it's all shoulders. It's all about the shoulders when you do that dance, right? We're all shoulders. Funniest thing a student has said to you? Um, uh, hmm. Probably what you told me yesterday when you get embarrassed to ask questions in class, right? No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's been some funny things. Uh, can't really remember a lot off the top of my head, right? Um, what is the best thing that one of your students have done for you? You know, just like I said, those little thank you cards or little like cute, cute like gifts bags with just like a few Ghirardelli chocolates. I hope I said that right in it or something like that. You know, just to prove or just to have them say like, or like those little thank you notes sometimes you do in Spanish class. You know, that just goes a long way. You guys don't realize it, but it really does. It makes you feel good. If you could describe your career in one word, what word would you use? Exciting. What's your favorite reality TV show? Reality TV show? Yeah. Uh, for back in the day, probably Jersey Shore, man. I don't know. That's a, uh, basic, <laughs> but we're counting it. Uh, what was your last Halloween costume? I believe that was a whoopee cushion. Yeah, whoopee cushion. Uh, what made you teach at Gretna? Gretna? You know, just... Really, I was getting told no by a lot of places. <laughs> no, but when I interviewed uh, here, you know... Uh, with Mr. Mueller, he's a great guy, and then everybody else in my department, in the business department, you know, they were just great people. So, uh, just the staff and the people and the students really kind of drew me here. And, you know, I'm very glad I'm here. Do questions make you nervous? Nah. Who's your celebrity look like? Uh, I've been told a lot it's Tobey Maguire, the very first Spider-Man, but I don't really see it. But a lot of people have told me that before, so like, I, mean, I, I guess I don't know. I can see the. Yeah, I don't know. Tony McGuire, yeah. 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 Let everybody else judge that. I don't know. Do you have any interesting superstitions? Um. I used to a lot when I was playing baseball. Um. Not really. I mean, just the way, like, I always put my right sock on before, and then my left sock on, and then right shoe, and then left shoe. I don't know why, I've just always done it that way. Maybe it's just I'm scared my feet are going to stink if I don't do it that way. I don't know. <laughs> What's the best excuse the students has given you for not having their work done? Like I said, they're usually pretty straight up. I just didn't do it. But my favorite are the classic, oh, yeah, I forgot. Like, you know, just stuff like that. What word do you mispronounce the most? <sighs> just because I do it on purpose, I say a lot. I mispronounce a lot of words to make my girlfriend mad. But time, I always mispronounce thyme, and it drives her nuts, um, just for fun. Or like Baja Blast, I always say Baja Blast. You know, just fun stuff like that. Uh, what's your favorite book and why? Oh, you're hitting me with the book question. Um, I don't really know. AR kind of ruined me. Um, I don't really like reading after AR. Um, but if I had to pick one from back in the day, it would be called, it was High Heat. It was just a baseball book back in the day. If you could live in any specific time period, when would it be? Mm, the 70s. Just because, I don't know, that seemed just like... Good groovy chill time to live, you know what I mean? What was your favorite class as a student? 
when you were a student? Oh, when I was a student, uh, just for PE, dude, just to run around and have some fun, or like weightlifting, right? Get out, get out and get sweaty. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to have for lunch? Favorite thing to have for lunch? <laughs> I oh, I love food. I would just say my favorite food is steak. So if I could eat a steak, I'd eat a steak any time of the day. Okay, that's it. That's it? Awesome. <laughs>